Dead of February, 30 degrees. We are back with the Legend Hobby RQ7. This thing was, I want to say out of commission. It was out getting some special things done to it, which I'm going to tell you guys about after I fly this for the first time. I haven't flown this for YouTube and I'm pretty excited. So this right here, RQ7 Shadow Half Scale. It's a 2.1 meter, which is about 83 inch wingspan. Let me just put this down lightly so you can see just how big this thing is. And as big of the wingspan it is, is pretty much how tall it is too. This thing is an absolute monster. I have flown this many times. It does fly amazing. Now, not really my style of plane, which is funny, but when I seen it, I fell in love with this thing. I had to have it. When you bring this to an airfield, I'm not lying. It gets all the attention. You put this thing on the table, everybody comes over to see it. When it's in the air, everybody lands because they want to watch this thing fly. Super cool. It runs on six cell, but you could put up to a 20,000 milliamp pack, which you're not going to find one. So you're going to need two packs, which I'm going to show you guys all of that stuff. All in, man. Cool plane. 410 kV motor. This comes in two options. You could either get a kit or you could get the kit deluxe. Now the deluxe is going to come with the motor, the power system, the servos, everything you're going to need minus your battery and your receiver. Now I'm leaving the prices on the screen here because I don't have it off the top of my head, but I do remember it's a very good price considering. So yeah, man, I just want to get this plane in the air. I want to show you guys just how well this thing flies. This isn't the first time I've flown it. Again, I'm going to say that, but it is the first time I'm flying with tailorons. I added tailorons just because a plane of this size, when you hit that rudder, you kind of want it to do something. So let's get a battery in here. Let me go over the controls. Then we're going to put this in the air and we'll show you what it does. Now I do want to show you right in here. So in the back here is where we're going to have, it's kind of a disaster right now. I just got all my wiring in there. That's where our receiver is and all extension leads and all that stuff. This plane does come apart. So you're going to bring it the fuselage, the wings are separate, and then the tail boom also comes off. So it's very easy to set up. It takes about 10 minutes at the field. Now up front is where our battery or batteries is going to go. So for the first flight, I'm going to run this. It's a brick 6,200 milliamp lipo. These are the new heavy duty packs from Hobby King. And then you could also, if you get an adapter, you're going to run two of these in parallel series, parallel. I don't know. You guys are going to correct me on that, but you're going to get double the milliamps, same volts. So it would be six L still. These are 5,900 a piece. We would get 11,800 milliamps. Now this plane is very forgiving. I think they say 6,000 all the way up to 20,000 milliamps. As you see in that battery compartment, let me lift it up. There's plenty of room to move the batteries around. So you're going to get the right CG no matter what. And this plane is very CG forgiving. So let me get this battery in here. We'll set the CG and then we'll give it a flight. Uh, that feels pretty good, honestly. First try. This is going to be my first time using this battery in this plane. Let's get this on the floor. Let's hit a quick control test. Make sure everything's going the way it needs to go. It's my luck. I'll send this. So, I mean, like I said, I have flown this before. It kind of is a remade, and I'm going to tell you about that once I land. So we got up, down, left, right. Good. Okay. Now our tailorons. Let's see. So that's left. Correct. Right is correct. Our flaps. Beautiful. Things are like barn doors. I'm going to take off half flaps. So if you take a look, take a look at those tailorons. You see them moving on the rudder. I have it set up like that, and I, I only put it to 50% because I don't want a crazy amount of throw on that, but I do want them to work. So, all right, guys, let's, uh, which way? Uh, can't tell which way the wind's going. I'm going to taxi down, and then we'll do a nice scale takeoff. Come here, Chloe. All right. All right, so our, our flaps are half. Let's get it up. Now, I do have to trim this out because, like I said, this is a remaiden. Again, I'm going to tell you about that after I land. I just want to show you guys what a trainer like this plane flies. It actually doesn't need much. I just want to straighten out. Let's see. All right, so it is nose heavy. I was right about that. That's really all it needed. Maybe a little right aileron. All right, beautiful. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, RQ-7 spy drone. This is used by the military. It's a surveillance drone. That's why now it has that camera on the bottom. Again, I'm pretty excited to tell you guys about that. But this plane right here, I'm, I'm about 60% throttle. It really does kind of just fly like a trainer. It's big wingspan. It's got, uh, what is it, high wing loading. Sounds good because of that pusher prop. 
We all love a nice pusher prop. They got that kind of whistle to it. Now in real life, these are gas. Uh, the military use it would be double the size, got a big gas engine. They're rated for some high performance, you know, probably somewhere around seven or 8,000 feet. I'm gonna bring this nice low pass. I wanna do a speed pass so you can see kind of the performance it has. You can change the prop. You just gotta watch for ground clearance. You know, if you guys want a little more performance, you could always go three blade. So that's full throttle. Now I'm gonna come downwind, right? We're gonna go full flaps. We'll show you just how nice this thing slows down. Maybe we'll even do a touch and go. So the flaps are down. You don't have to worry about stalling this thing. Massive wingspan, inverted V-tail. Flies great. Look at this thing. I don't even know if I touched. Probably one of the easiest, if not the easiest, plane of this size to land. I was uh, very surprised my first time flying it. No bad tendencies, doesn't want to stall ever. I'm not really comfortable doing like crazy maneuvers. Like I don't think I've ever went inverted with this thing, which maybe I, I should try it. I'll tell you what we are gonna get out of this thing. So with this battery, we'll probably get over 10 minutes of flight with this with the double batteries or 20,000 milliamps guys you're going to probably get let's see inverted oh yeah she rolls it's a slow roll but she does roll you'll probably get 20,000 milliamps 30 minutes of flight on this thing and i tell you what if you're just a random person walking on this field and you see this flying over like that you're gonna think it's a real spy drone I lowered the throttle. We're at 50% throttle right now. Beautiful flying plane. It really is a beautiful flying plane. Let's do this again. We're going full flaps. Let's bring this thing in. Let's actually touch the floor this time. I'm liking the way the tailorons work. They do give it a, a, a little bit of that rudder authority, which I'm liking. I might even hike it up because I only had it set to 50%. Call that a slam and go. This is definitely a 101. You know, you guys get one of these, you bring it to the airfield, you are probably gonna be the only one there with this plane. It really is such a unique aircraft. Like I said, every time I bring this thing to the field and people are there, this steals the show. All right, let's go full flap again. I'm pitching down heavy right now. All right, add some power. There we go. We're back up. That's what I was looking for. Plenty of power to get up quick, too. All right, let's land this thing officially because I do want to talk a little bit about some of the stuff we have planned for this and why I'm so excited. This is this is one of the ones in my, my hangar that I'm just very excited for. Very excited for the things to come with this thing. I think Legend Hobby hit it on the head by putting this in their arsenal of planes because... Uh, you know, there's not other companies, there's not many other companies, if any, that are offering some of the stuff that we are with this. So let's land this thing. Let me tell you about it real quick. Ooh, not the best landing, definitely not the worst. You know, while it's on the floor, let's talk taxiing. This thing taxis, no problem. Left, right, right, left. Those flaps are hilarious, too. All right, so the reason I wasn't able to get a flight video out for you guys with this thing was because I brought this initially to the field to maiden it for some short form content. The president of my club is a CAD genius. The guy's a graphic engineer, and I reached out, you know, I said, hey, I'm flying this thing. Can you meet me there? He said, of course. So he comes down. I said, Tom, you know, the real one, because the model didn't have this camera it's a ball turret camera that the real one actually has so i said hey tom like i would love for uh this plane to have that camera you know can you design it and, and print it out for me it doesn't have to be functional i just want the camera he said i'll do it but we're gonna make it functional so he took it one step further this ball turret works with head tracking now i'm gonna show you a clip on the cat on the on the screen right now and uh it actually works and we did fly it like that it's amazing the reason I'm not showing you today is because some people not, might not want to fly this line, um, FPV. They want to fly this line of sight. So I, jo I just want to show you guys line of sight, but the next video is going to be FPV. I never got it set up to my Spectrum controller. He set it up to Futaba. 
I was working through the head track and trying to get it set up to Spectrum and I didn't have the right port. I was plugging into the audio port. You actually need an adapter from Spectrum. So I have that on order and that video is gonna come out very soon. But this thing actually works. So we're flying this pretty much the same way the real government is flying it. Granted, they're probably in a trailer somewhere doing it from a screen. We're sitting in a chair wearing goggles and wherever we look, the camera looks. And this has full pan, full tilt. It's gonna go down 90 degrees left and right. Super cool. The next thing I'm very excited about, which I haven't been able to edit yet, is bomb drops. So we do have payload mechanisms for this. The ones that I have are bigger and they're meant to mount into the actual fuselage. So if you guys don't want the camera, you just want this plane with the heavier option payload release, you're gonna be able to get the one and you're gonna have bombs that mount right to the fuselage. So I don't have those ones right now. I'm wait, or rather I have those ones and I can't put them on because my camera's in the way. So the ones that I have on order are slim fitting. They're gonna go on the wings and Legend Hobby designed these bombs that actually hit the ground, they come apart. So you fill them with baking soda, baking powder, something like that. So they're gonna make that explosion. Now with this camera being able to turn left, right fully and fully down 90 degrees, you're gonna be able to see the bombs dropping as you're flying the plane. So it's just all in one of the coolest designs. I don't think any other RC plane has that option. This thing is amazing and it's heavy. So we're gonna be able to put a lot of baby powder in those bombs that all in, I'm just excited for all of this stuff to come. Great flying plane. Functionality wise, we're gonna be doing things that nobody else is doing. Legend Hobby, I think really hit it out of the park with this one. So I'm excited for all of that stuff. Now, while it's on the floor, let's get it over here. I just wanna show you the battery. We were in the air for exactly five minutes. My timer was set for five minutes. I got one second on the clock and I was pretty heavy on that throttle. So let's see with a 6,000 milliamp battery, let's see exactly how much juice we have in there. So we're still at 68%, 3.95. So realistically, and we got probably another five minutes on. I think I hit it on the head. You'll get 10 minutes out of this. While it's on the floor, my flare wasn't exactly where I wanted it to be. I think we we're a little nose heavy, so I'm gonna slide this back a little bit. Maybe right there, that should be good. Let's get this thing back up. Let's do a couple more passes, try to butter a landing. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, with that battery pushed back, that's where it needed to be. So yeah, guys, now you know why I love this thing so much. One, it flies like a trainer. Two, a lot of functionality here, man. You know, imagine being up at, you know, that 400 feet, you know, AGL limit while looking out from the camera dropping bombs. I'm probably gonna be flying above everybody else at the field, trying to hit their planes out of the sky. And by everybody else, I mean, Mainly my boy Christian, and probably the guy who made that camera setup, Tom Hunt. Tom, if you're watching this, I really appreciate you. I'm very excited for what's to come with this thing. That thing screams, huh? <laughs> Guys, I'm not lying. This thing, like, it literally never wants to fall out of the sky which is great, obviously planes aren't supposed to. But like of a plane this size with this style, you would think it would like, you know, have some bad tendencies. Nope. Like I'm comfortable doing some sharp turns with this thing. I love the way it sounds too. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's bring this thing in. Let me not test my luck on batteries. We don't want to be dead sticking a military drone, right? Let's see if I could get a nice landing now that that battery's where it's supposed to be. Look at that coming in. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, hey. Shout out Legend Hobby for coming through clutch with the RQ-7 military surveillance drone, half scale. I am loving this thing. I think all spring, this is probably gonna be one of the coolest things I fly. The only thing I am gonna change, and I probably would advise you guys too, if you do decide to get one of these and add all the functionality like I did, like that camera and the bombs, we're gonna get a little more drag. So stock, we're running a 15.7. I believe 15.7. 
I was speaking with, you know, the other guys that have this, Jeff, and he said that he thinks I should run a 16.6, 16.7 or something like that. I got to check the email. So I am going to go one inch bigger on the prop just to compensate for that added drag. Other than that, beautiful. I love this thing. I'm very excited for what's to come with it. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for more fun with the RQ7 by Legend Hobby. I'll see you guys soon. Mm.